Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verses 21 through the first half of 23. Colossians, chapter 1, verses 21 through 23a. And it says, And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel with which you heard. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, what a blessing. It reminds us what God has done. We were once enemies of God. In our mind, we were just doing what, what pleased us, and we didn't care about God. We, didn't, we were just, we were God in our minds. And yet he... In his love, while we were still enemies, he redeemed us through his sacrifice and makes, makes us acceptable in the sight of God. That's what's really amazing about all that, by that blood. But the, the last part of this, if indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel with which you heard, this is our focus today. And so many of us have seen people on fire for the Lord and moving mightily in the gifts. And then it seems as if it wasn't enough. Something happened and they went back to the world. Now, thank God that God is able to redeem them and cause dry bound bones to live. But who wants to go through that? Who wants to have to suffer that? God's done this wonderful gift and given that wonderful gift to us. And why would we ever, ever want to leave? Well, we have flesh and we need, we have spirit, but the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. We are to, he says, continue steadfast, uh, continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast. And so, as it says in James 5, 16, the truth is, I think the word says, uh, let he, him who thinks he stands, take heed lest he fall. Um, something along those lines. And that is, we can be confident that everything's in control, but I believe that God wants us to always be checking with God and show us where we need more faith, where we are, uh, what's going on in our hearts and what's, what, what's the state of our, our walk with him. So that when we, he shows us anything that's a weakness, an opening or anything else, that we would just get prayer for it, as it says in James 5, 16. Confess your trespasses to one another or weaknesses and sins. And pray for one another that you may be healed. This is how the flock continues in the faith. A flock of sheep following the shepherd. One sheep uh, could lose the faith and go off on its own and think it's got it figured out and end up being in trouble. But since we're all together, we can... Stay close by staying close to each other and praying for one another. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 and 10 says, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Amen. Again, the, the God will reveal where we have weakness in our faith. And all he wants us to do is get prayer, get prayer. We'll just agree with him and let him keep us going. Keep us in the flock where the wolves don't come. They look for that sheep by itself. But when we're all together, praying for one another, confessing and staying transparent, we make it all the way to the promised land. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians 13, 1, this will be the third time I'm coming to you. By the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word will be established. Why do I have this verse in here? Because when we go to our brother or sister and we talk about our weaknesses, 
and we pray together when we come before the Lord by the mouth of these two witnesses, every word shall be established, and he will answer that prayer, as it says in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2a. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance that race, the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That's the answer, is that when we're weak in the faith, he is the one who gives us the faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand. And is that is how we get through all of this. This is how we stay in the faith. This is how we make it all the way to the promised land of rest in him. Praise the Lord. And so our prayer this morning is like this man, Mark 9, verse 24. Immediately the father of the child cried out, and those of us here, Lord, we say with tears to you, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Lord, we believe, help our unbelief. You are the one, Lord. You are the one who has to give us this. Even the apostles in Luke 17, 5, ask you, Lord, increase our faith. We ask you to increase our faith today. Whatever that looks like, however you need to do it, we want to have the faith to stay the course. Actually, we want greater faith than we already have. And we know you can do it because your word is true. And so we thank you for that. Thank you for this word. Thank you for redeeming us even while we were enemies. And thank you for reminding us that we, uh, we need you to help us continue in the faith and actually increase in faith until our faith is made perfect and we are at rest in you. So we thank you for this word today. We ask you to make it reality for us, for us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.